Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Here we are again in our series of Microtech PPPoE. In our previous videos, I already demonstrated how to set up PPPoE server, clients, bandwidth limit, and burst speed. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please watch it first so that you can fully benefit and understand this video content. I will put the links on the description box below. In this video, I will show you now how to notify expired users and do payment reminder. We will set up web proxy in our Microtech device and redirect the traffic of the expired users into our web proxy. And it will pop up a payment reminder error page. Take note that web proxy in Microtech can only control or redirect the HTTP traffic which is port 80. If the expired users access the internet using HTTPS, which all most of the websites in the internet use, then the error page will not pop up. But we will configure in our Microtech a firewall filter so that expired users using HTTPS will not have an internet. So let's get started. Now, uh, this is the topology that we used uh, on our previous videos. So as you can see, we configured two profiles, 5 MB profile for profile 1. 10 MB profile for profile 2. So, in our uh, expired users, we will make another profile. So, we will access first the device. So, before creating the profile, we will make an IP pool first on of our expired users. So, click IP, then pool. Click plus. We will name this one expired PPPoE pool. So I will use this IP 172.16.10.2-172.16.10.254. Click apply, then OK. All right after we create a pool for our expired PPPoE, we will now proceed to the profiles. Click plus, then we will name this one expired. PPPoE so I, I rather I will name this an expired profile then local address 172.16.10.1 then remote address is the pool that we created then we will add an address list so that when the users dial using the uh, expert profile the, the IP address of that user will will be logged in our firewall address list so I will make an address list I will need I will name this one expired users then for the limits it's a, it's up to you you can put 1k over 1k but it's still okay if you haven't if you if you want put it so I'll just leave it blank then for the queue you can also leave it blank you can also put the parent queue here so for this demonstration I will just put it like that and click apply then okay so we are now done creating our expired profile next is we will now configure our uh, web proxy so to do that, click IP, then web proxy, then click this one, check enable, then port 8080, you can change this one. So for this demonstration, I will, for this demonstration, I will change this one to 8082. Then click access, click plus, then source address, the network address of our Expired users, destination port 80, then action deny, click apply, then OK, then close, then click apply, then click OK. Alright, so we will now make IP firewall, firewall not so that 
uh, we can redirect the HTTP traffic to our web proxy. So click IP, then firewall, then NAT, click plus, then general destination NAT, source address list, the PPPOA. What is the name? Of the, what is the name of that again? Oh, this one expired users. Copy. Then we'll just put it here. Protocol TCP. Destination port 80. Auction redirect to ports 8082. Click apply then OK. So this rule is the function this rule is that expired users that use uses port 80 it will be redirected to our web proxy. 882 is our web proxy. So click apply then okay. So if the if the expired users access the internet using HTTPS, it will uh, it will have an internet. So to filter that one, we will configure it here in our filter rules. So click plus, general, forward, then source address list, expired users, TCP, station port 443, action drop. Click apply, then OK. So basically we are now, we are done. We are now done with our configuration, so we will test. So for example, uh, our uh, user one has five MB profile, so we will we will check first this one. So in my setup, I have a TP-Link router here connected to my Microtik, and it's it is it successfully dialed with our Microtik PPUA. So the IP for that one is 192.168.255.254. So it has an internet. So we will check first if it has an internet. So I will connect to that one. Test. This is ID of that. TP link is test. So I will try to do <coughs> a speed test. An internet so for 5 MB user burst speed of 10 Mbps so how to set up that one you can watch it in my previous videos I put the link in the description box below so we will we will simulate that if this uh, user did not pay the monthly juice then we will uh, change the profile to expired user now. So here in secrets, double click this one, then change the profile to expired profile. Click apply, then OK. Then in the active connections, delete that one. So that the IP address of the router will change to the IP address of our expired users which which we configured here in IP pool so we will wait for the tp link to get an uh, to get a new ip let's just wait Alright, that's what you can see. The IP now has been changed to 172.16.10.254. So that IP belongs to our expired PPPOE pool. So this uh, user now will have no internet. So let's check it again. Alright, 
the status is have an internet but actually it, it won't have an internet now so we will check we will check uh, if the client has an internet using HTTP it will be redirected to our web proxy right so it, it it is now direct redirected to our web proxy so if the client access internet via HTTPS like google.com google.com is HTTPS it will have the internet it was filtered here in filter rules the IP address of the expired user is now logged here in the address list belongs to the expired users so if you want to change the error page you can do that so I will show you how so I prepared here a simple HTML page so you will just make sure that your HTML file na is named error error.html so to do to do to change this one you will just drag and drop click first the files then uh, before that make sure that in the IP web proxy you click this one click apply and okay you can do now drag and drop put it no put it here did it delete this first then put it again all right so when we refresh all right it is now changed to our new error page so this is it guys on how to configure or notify expired users and do payment reminder using the web proxy of our microtech device hope this video helps if you find this video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel Please also hit that notification bell so you can be notified to my new videos. Bye for now and have a nice day.